Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to recap the movie The Intouchables, which was released in 2011. The film begins with Driss driving his boss, Philip, through the city. When traffic gets banned, Driss accelerates and ignores traffic signs. Police chase him, and Driss bets 100 euros he can lose them, but after driving under a bridge, they ambush them from all sides. Driss is unconcerned and bets 200 euros on getting them an escort. He becomes upset and says Philip can't move, and he's bringing him to the hospital after the police force him out of the car. Philip convulses as investigators find the wheelchair in the vehicle, another ruse. In an emergency, the cops forgive Driss for speeding and offer to drive him to the hospital. After winning the bet, Driss plays September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, smoking with Philip as the police leave. Driss promises to handle everything and drives them away before the medical staff arrives. Philip and his aide Magali interview replacement caretakers, but all provide usual or uncomfortable answers. Driss interrupts, ignoring the fact that it's not his turn, and wants documents stating they won't hire him so he can get unemployment benefits. He's rude and hits on Magali, but Philip laughs and invites him back the next day for his signed contracts. After returning to his destitute neighborhood house, Driss tries to take a bath as his younger siblings bother him, but his older, more responsible sister Mena saves the day. He sees his brother Adama exit a strange car via the window while waiting for their mom. Driss becomes more suspicious when the child enters the flat, saying he was at school, and leaves with his luggage. In the evening, he delivers his mom a stolen Fabergé egg and pretends he's on vacation when she asks. He went for six months without calling and then showed up at her house like a motel, which upset her. Since she has other kids and is done with his lying, she pushes him out and instructs him not to return. Driss smokes and eats with neighborhood friends at night. The next day, Driss returns to Philip's house for his papers and is greeted by Yvonne, the housekeeper, who shows him around and discusses Philip's daily routine. She also shows him his bathroom-equipped room. Driss stares at the bathtub before Philip gives him the signed form and a job. Philip bets Driss won't last two weeks after accepting the one-month trial. With Philip in his room, Driss learns to care for him. He needs help with leg stimulation, wheelchair use, showering, and dressing. Despite his reluctance, Driss wears high stockings and cleans his butt after Philip uses the restroom at work. Elisa and Bastian, Philip's daughter and boyfriend, ask for a secret location to make out while eating on the roof later that night. He refuses to share his drink and kicks them out. Despite initial mistakes like giving Philip a phone instead of putting it on his ear or forgetting the baby monitor while washing, Driss quickly adjusts to the daily routine. His messages are organized in folders, with most for Philip and some private. Instead of throwing away a flyer, he establishes a female escort file, as Philip proposes. However, this new life isn't all work. Driss enjoys himself and sometimes calls escorts to bed, despite failing to impress Magali. After scolding him for being late, Yvonne finds dangerous weapons in his backpack one morning. She's silent. Today, Driss drives Philip in a rare luxury sedan instead of a cargo van. Philip, who first thinks they should be realistic, likes a faster, less boring ride, but Yvonne disagrees. A neighbor blocks their door when they depart, despite the warning. Driss quickly takes the man by the front of his shirt and demands he move the car. Philip likes his work, but Yvonne disagrees. Philip wants to buy a museum picture with a red spot, but Driss believes it's not worth it. A relative says Philip Driss is violent and everyone is afraid of him. The truth about Driss's criminal past doesn't bother Philip, who enjoys joking with him. After another failed attempt to seduce Magali, Driss has dinner with Yvonne in the kitchen while Philip dictates a letter. Yvonne turns off the baby monitor and says Philip writes to Eleanor, but Driss didn't open the letters. Eleanor and he have never met. Their connection is scripted. About love, Driss teases Yvonne for the gardener's pre-bedtime looks. Strange baby monitor noises interrupt his sleep. Philip gasps. Unable to ignore him, Driss quietly walks him through the attack in his room with calming words and a wet cloth to wash his face. Philip sleeps but wakes up for air. This time, Driss puts Philip in the wheelchair, blankets him, and walks him along the river. After finally seeing Paris at night, Philip relaxes. He informs Driss that medication has limits, and he suffers. 
After seeing girls, Philip acknowledges he can't fulfill a lady owing to his circumstances, but he enjoys getting his sensitive ears massaged. Driss and Philip share a joint when the phantom pain returns. Philip is skeptical at first, but likes it. Philip recounts his experience after they eat and joke. She had five miscarriages and a terminal illness after marrying after meeting as students. They adopted Elisa. Philip loves competitions, intensive activities, and speed, and paragliding provides that. Poor weather prompted him to crash and break his spine while paragliding. He still considers living without his wife to be his biggest challenge. After playing, Philip remembers the day and realizes Driss gets employed after a month's trial. He must return the Fabergé egg he took because his wife gave him one every year, and he has 25, reflecting their years together. Mena is irritated when Driss calls her the day after she leaves school because he has only begged her to discover the egg. She tells him the police have been calling their house. Adama confesses to bringing 30 grams when he visits. Adama refuses Driss meal and boards the odd car. Later, Philip dictates his Ilium or letter to Magali with Driss. He thinks Philip should be direct, and this purple prose is boring. They didn't take pictures together for six months, which confuses him. A letter with her phone number prompts Philip to pick up the phone and call her. Their conversation is so fantastic that Philip calls her often, even before he and Driss go to the opera, where Driss laughs at the clothes. Driss suggests Philip trade photographs with Eleanor the next day and choose a wheelchair image. Elisa interrupts his work to ask for cigarettes and mocks him. Angered, he pushes her out before approaching Philip, who wants Ivan to replace the image with one of him before his paralysis. Ivan hides the picture in the escort file before Driss complains about Elisa and orders Philip to chastise her. Philip agrees to talk to her, but Driss painting disclosure surprises him. Philip and Driss grow closer daily. Driss runs and Snow plays with him. Driss listens on the baby monitor as Philip buys him his first suit and scolds his daughter. Magali slaps Driss after he kisses her after showing his first art. Philip likes the artwork and promises to sell it. They enjoyed buying a quicker car, sharing joints, and hiring escorts. Philip dislikes his birthday. He pretends to be surprised that they're having a party every year and has to see all these relatives who only visit him on the date to check if he's alive. Philip forecasts boredom. Driss hunts for Elisa, who is crying in her bed after taking Yvonne's non-lethal tablets while the guests listen to classical music. After Bastian dumped her and called her a tart, she paid Driss to talk to him. Philip sells Driss' picture for 11,000 euros to a relative. After Driss returns to the dining area, Yvonne tells him Magali is dating Fred but having trouble. It gives Driss hope. Philip makes Driss listen to classical music's biggest hits as the celebration ends, but he's joking. He dances in the middle of the floor to Boogie Wonderland by Earth, Wind, and Fire on his iPod after the band finishes. Philip adores seeing him dance and get the party involved. Once Philip is asleep, Driss reads Eleanor's latest letter. She emailed him her beautiful photo and asked him to meet in Paris next week. After dozens of costumes, Yvonne and Driss chose Philip for the date. Driss visits Bastien on his day off and advises him to apologize to Elisa, bring her croissants every day, and straighten his hair since Yvonne will take Philip on the date. He then observes his mother's work. Eleanor is late, so Yvonne and Philip wait at the restaurant. Philip quits after an hour calls Driss to take him, and leaves the restaurant before Eleanor arrives. Philip takes Driss on his plane that night and offers him the image sales money, making him thrilled. Philip takes Driss paragliding in the countryside the next morning. Driss hates it at first, but likes it. Adama waits for Driss at home and is scolded for his scars. Adama won't tell Driss about his life, so Driss makes him wait in his room while he calls Mina to reassure her and puts Philip to bed. Still awake, Philip. After making Driss look at a painting, he asks about his family, which Driss initially opposes but eventually does. Adama's parents are his aunt and uncle, not his brother. Bakari Basari is from Senegal, but they imported him at age eight since they couldn't have kids. Other youngsters called him Idris, then Driss. His aunt magically conceived, and after his uncle died, more men and children followed. Philip says Adama needs discipline, 
so he fires Triss so he can spend his time with his family, instead of caring for an elderly man like Elisa. After Bastion brings his croissant and a better haircut, Driss packs his bags the next morning. Magali lets Driss go and introduces him to his girlfriend Fred, when he tries again. Magali hates guys, so Driss quits. Yvonne gets the baby monitor back, and he teases her for lying about playing with Magali before leaving the house. She sends him the escort file he created, but hides his photo. Driss deletes the file but keeps the snapshot. Once outside, a car blocks the door again, so he orders him to leave despite no longer working there. Driss defends his principal as Adama calls him out. The brothers pick up their mother at the station many hours later, while Philip eats his first lunch with his stuffy, boring new housekeeper and leaves without eating. Nobody can criticize the gardener because Ivan dates him. Time returns Driss to his old existence. He reconnects with old friends and tells suspicious car drivers to leave Adama alone. Using Philip's art knowledge and calling himself pragmatic, convinces the employer at an interview he doesn't have much experience for. He gets a driving job. His new babysitter annoys Philip constantly. Yvonne invites Driss over after he refuses family help for his phantom pain one night. After chasing them, the police transported them to the hospital. After that minor incident, Driss takes Philip to the beach, where the sea calms him. Philip goes to lunch with Driss after trimming his beard, but someone else will stay. After Driss wishes him luck and returns his egg, Philip frets about being alone until he sees Eleanor, his date, who adores him and doesn't mind the chair. Real Count Philip Pazo di Borgo lives in Morocco with two daughters after remarrying. Driss Abdul Yasmin Selu is married with three children and runs a company. And that's the end of this recap. Thanks for watching and staying till the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one.